Hey there guys, if you want to support the channel, get access to our private Discord server and get access as well to free monthly tournaments, giveaways, and game nights, go ahead and check out the Patreon for the channel and consider pledging today. Thank you guys so much for your support and enjoy the video. Hey there guys, DMO73 here, bringing you the deck profile for the Gill list. Sorry for the delay, hope you guys enjoyed that podcast last night as kind of a, um, a replacement for it. But yeah, here is the black, white, green uh, Gill list designed by Josh uh, Borsma. Um, so Gill energizes for green, selections for three, can banish elementals to produce well to cast spirits. We don't really use a lot of spirit magics in this outside of the elementals, so we kind of use that for... Um, uh, draw power engine, uh, which you'll kind of see a little bit about and then he can tap to search for gentle breeze elemental Which helps to turn on his draw engine flips over into being an 11 11 with barrier that natural barrier is Surprisingly relevant more so than I initially gave it credit for and that stat line actually makes him pretty decent uh, And with all the draw power things and being wind flying cloud is kind of the way we make him really effective um, His elemental ability doesn't change on his ruler side and we don't know what his sealed item is yet So we'll have to wait and see for the stone base, we play four black silence for black white, or for black green, four gusting skies for white green, and then two killing stones. We really like having the uh, darkness sources, so we don't really mind taking the damage from the three, uh, the three damage from the killing stones. We only run six resonators in the main. It is definitely a control list. Four frig because it helps us recycle everything else and makes it so we can start frig looping, which is really really good. And then two Odins, which we again can pull in off of a Spinning Myth uh, and helps us to get really, really ahead in terms of will very, very quickly. So now it's time for the 34 spells. Um, so I'm just going to go through stuff and then I'll talk about the draw engines. We have two Amaterasu's Foresight just to be able to help us kind of stall out if we need to in the early game and prevent stuff from getting killed. Uh, two Erasures because it's anything hate, including J Rulers, which is important, I think, in this format. Three Nameless Mists to make sure that we pull those cancel spells out of our opponent's hand, or um, if they're playing blue-white, to be able to grab um, Dawn of the Earth. Two Severing Winds, uh, because we already have a lot of cancel spells, so we don't necessarily need even more. Um, four Vanishes, because it cancels anything, and we can cast it for two, which is really nice. Four Spinning Myths to help us torrent, to be able to, it's very easy to torrent in this deck uh, with Gentle Breeze Elemental, uh, and so we do that also to be able to bring out Frigs and Odins faster while ramping. Uh, the four Gentle Breeze Elementals, which we'll talk about, two of the twofold chance. It's very easy to torrent this, and I think also people aren't really expecting a Wall of Wind kind of card, so a lot of times people will tap out, and you can just twofold chant them and it punishes them pretty hard. Uh, three Soul Deaths to help us deal with aggro because it just puts it back at the, the bottom of their deck, which is nice. Also a really good anti-fox card. Uh, one Eternal Recurrence to be able to board wipe stuff if things get out of hand. One Schrodinger's Observation is an alternative win con and to help us recover life. And then two Flying Clouds to be able to make Gil kind of and Frigg and Odin flying uh, and stronger to be able to push in that damage that we need. Now the draw power engine in this deck is the four of Gentle Breeze Elemental and the four of Release. So Gentle Breeze Elemental is great because it lets you draw a card, it quick casts, and it's really easy to turn on Torrent. It's also a spirit magic, so we can banish this to produce and then cast it with the stuff that's being produced. So why that's so good with Release is because Release says put a non-magic stone card from your removed area into your hand and then draw a card. So essentially the combo kind of works like this. We have Gentle Breeze in the grave, we banish it to produce green, we cast release, bring this back to our hand, and then use the one that we produced by banishing it to immediately recast it, drawing a card. So we draw two cards there and replenish our will um, with Gentle Breeze Elemental to be used later, all for just two will total. Um, really helps the deck speed up a lot, and you can do it kind of in a really large chain, especially when you get to really high will counts. Um, so overall, really, really awesome count uh, things, and I definitely think that that's what makes Gil kind of terrifying moving forward. But that is the deck profile, guys. Let me know what you think. Huge thanks to Josh for the list. Uh, definitely, definitely give Gil more credit now um, than I initially did. So huge thanks to him. Go ahead and uh, like, comment, and subscribe, guys, as always. And if you feel like supporting the channel, there's a link to the Patreon down below or on the end card here if you want to try to support the channel that way. It's always appreciated. But until next time, guys, this is DMO73 signing off.